Pixie and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you some swimwear I recently bought from Boohoo and I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Um, actually I can wait. The first one is so horrendous. Whew. Okay, you ready for this? Because, okay, let me just get into it. So it was the plunge cutout swimsuit in white. It's a size 8 and it was um, £14.67 to be specific and oh my gosh it's horrendous like so so hear me out right because now now I'm looking at the model it doesn't actually look that different on the model but um, I mean maybe I was just staring at her boobs what you know what can a girl do really so I think in my head I was like yeah when I finally get to go to Ibiza where which has been cancelled three times already. I was like, this might look really, really nice on like a boat party or something. Um, out, you know, just one of those like fashionable swimsuits. Oh my gosh, big mistake. So I got size eight and um, yeah, it's just really weird. So it's basically like a nappy. <laughs> so you put on your little nappy. It's also quite tight as well. So I really struggled to get this over my hips because it doesn't really have much stretch with the little cool little um, <clears throat> bars um, and then they cut in quite tight now normally I wear a size like size 6 around my waist and that's where this goes so maybe I needed a bigger size but I assumed like looking at a girl with these massive boobs I was like oh it'll probably be too big for me so anyway put in your little pants and then it just sort of looks like this so what you then want to do is that you want to then cross it over in front of you like like you just cross it across you like that and then you would just put your arm on and then like clip it up behind you um it barely barely covers my boobs like i bent down to like i don't know put my shoes on or pick something up and i came back and my boob was out and i was like well this isn't going to be good in ibiza because when the tunes are playing i'm a dancing okay <laughs> so <laughs> this is not good um and yeah i just feel like this big overgrown baby um, I mean, while I've been modelling it for you, I've tried to suck in my tummy as much as possible to try and make it look as nice as I could. And it goes right up your bum as well. Like, so obviously, because I'm going to send it back, I wanted to keep my thong on. And I had to pull my G-string all the way up. I nearly lost my voice. Oh my gosh, it really went right up there. So I am definitely sending this back. But I'd still love to know your thoughts. Like, what do you think about it? Would you wear it or would you uh, talk to me if I wore this? Oh my god, I felt so exposed.
second outfit. Now this one um, is, is quite cute. It is called the Crinkle Tie Triangle Mix and Match um, Bikini Top in, um, now, get this now. It is, <clears throat> right, it's called Color Ecru, Ecru? Can someone please explain to me what the color Ecru is? And don't say this because I would call it just like, like creamy white. Why would you call it Ecru? Ecru, is it a French? Is this what I'm missing? Anyway, so it's in Ecru and it was £4.40, I believe. Um, and um, I mean, first of all, it's a size 8 again. <clears throat> Let me just check. Yeah, a size 8. So it's a size 8 and the cups are blimmin' massive. Like, oh my gosh, they're just, you know, like, they they really do cover and then they've got like the the tie at the top is super long as well so it's just a bit ridiculous now it actually doesn't look too bad as like a normal bikini if you want to just wear it as a bikini but it's got these two ties down the side so naturally i forgot what i bought so i just put it straight on and i tied both pieces like around my back oh my tummy just rumbled as usual, <laughs> um, I just tied two pieces around my back and then I was like, why is there two pieces? And then I went back to the picture and was like, oh, it's supposed to be a crisscross. It took me ages to realise. So there's like this little extra bit here. So this normal bit that goes all the way through goes around the back. And then you've got like this little extra tie on, um, which you just cross over the front like that. Gosh, I don't want a white top to show you this. Cross over the front like that. Um, but you'll see in the video that it's, I'm too big for it to go around the back. Now, no offense, it's a size eight, the cups are massive, and I only wear size six on my top. I wouldn't say I'm extremely huge, so unless I'm doing something ridiculously wrong, I even tried it the other way around, like swapping, and they're just basically like the same size. So to, for me to be able to do this up at the back, I've got to like really squish this together, and then it just sort of like goes out of shape a little bit, so I was really disappointed in that, but you'll also see in the video that I will it does look all right if you just leave it as like like a normal bikini is absolutely fine now also with this one um i decided to wear these cool little shorts which i didn't think i would like right um first of all i don't like the material it's that crepe paper material um i can't even rub my fingers on it it just really freaks me the out okay so it's it's quite nice and stretchy so these are cool <laughs> So these are the uh, crinkle beat shorts in a size eight. Oh, you're joking me, size eight. These are blooming tight, I'll tell you that much. And wait for it, color stone. You couldn't think of another name, couldn't think of a different color, no? Color stone. Okay, so these lovely coloured stoned shorts um, are actually really, really nice. They are really tight around the middle. So, you know, just saying, maybe get a size up because like if you're wearing them on a beach anyway, they're baggy. I think they would look nicer baggy actually um, because I think they're like quite tight on the bum. So yeah, I would just probably go a size up on these. Um, but I think they're really cute. Don't forget that they are completely, completely, completely see-through. So um, you'll see that I'm wearing my uh, new bikini briefs with it underneath, um, but you can really see every single shape in these. But I think that outfit looks all right. It's quite cute, but I'd love to know your thoughts. Would you um, catch me in a beach bar wearing this?
나를 비웃겨 근데 나도 내가 변할 줄은 몰랐어 너 때문에 내가 변할 줄은 몰랐어 uh. 예뻐져라 예뻐져 너만 내게 빠져들 수 있게 예뻐져 예뻐져 uh. 예뻐져라 예뻐져 그 누구도 다가올 수 없게 예뻐져 yes, no. 
I've like had bikini bottoms on and then like underneath I've had like a thong on or something. So when I'm lying down, I don't mind it. But I don't know if I'd like want to walk around with it. And like, I want to like go to the beach and play volleyball and other games and stuff, you know. So I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about these. And they're kind of a little bit baggy as well. So I'm like, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Obviously, I haven't worn this bikini in the water as well. So I don't really know if it's see-through or not. Um, but it's okay actually, it's not so bad. Um, actually these, this is why I ordered size 6 and they've sent me a UK 10. For some reason they've sent me a USA 6. Okay, well in that case, the baggy vagina is understandable, but the hips are probably going to be a little bit tight for like a size 8 hip person. So that's interesting and um, I don't know why the hygiene protection is all the way up the back. Was it like that earlier? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going on now. So also with this outfit, you'll notice that I love this new tennis skirt and it is called the Petite Split Pleated Tennis Skirt and it's a size 6 and it was... Um, £12.75 and I love it, I love it, I love it. So basically, let me give you some backstory. So I've been texting this girl who has a boyfriend but she's like totally up for meeting girls as well, which is, ugh, yes. And also I'm looking for a tennis partner because I love tennis and I haven't played in years and it's a real good way of like getting rid of your frustration. You're just like, ah, you know, and I was really good at it as well and I'm very competitive and there's enough distance that you can do it even if we go into lockdown for like the seventh time. <laughs> um, and also, um, I just love tennis. So this girl said she'd play with me. <laughs> Easy. Um, and then I thought I'll get this skirt. Now what I didn't know, my friend told me yesterday, that skirts that you wear at tennis, they normally are skorts. So they have like shorts in the middle and these don't. These are just pure skirt baby. So I might need to buy like maybe some hot pants or something if I actually want to play tennis in them. But I think it's super cute. Like I really like it. I'm not sending this one back. So I don't care about your opinion. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I'm keeping it though, really. What do you think? <laughs>
told you or not, but the top was £4.40 um, and the bottoms were £4.47 to be specific. I'm going to take the sizes now. Okay, yeah, this is a size 8, like I thought, like I ordered. Well done. And those are my new swimwear outfits. I'm pretty sure that I'm probably going to send all of them back because if you look at my last video that I did of bikinis, uh, I think it was from Boohoo, then you'll notice that they are much nicer and I'd rather keep all of those, um, whereas these ones are a little bit of a letdown if I'm honest. Um, I do love my tennis skirt though, which is called a tennis skirt, but it's probably not really good for tennis. And um, also I love the shorts, funnily enough, weirdly enough, I quite like those as well. So when I do finally get my ass to a beach, I will post some pictures and you can let me know which uh, bikini is your favourite from my last video and I'll send you some videos of tennis as well. I'm definitely going to put it on my Instagram. Um, make sure you follow me on there so you don't miss out. It's uh, at Lexi.Leatherland. Um, I'll also always post like naughty versions of stuff on OnlyFans, which is OnlyFans.com slash Lexi Leatherland so you can catch me on there too and we can have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation on there I just I love OnlyFans because I can really like get to know you um, and chat with you daily so I really really enjoy that if I'm having a crappy day you guys just really really like cheer me up so thank you for that um yeah so don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate the follows, um, appreciate all your support and I appreciate your comments too. I skim through them every single day in the morning. I have a look and they all put a smile on my face at the moment. So thank you so much for that. You know who you are. And um, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, leave me a comment and I will see you in a couple of weeks. I hope the sun is shining where you are. Bye. Oh,